Okay, welcome back to another VB.net tutorial about our accounting system. Uh, in the previous video, we finished most of the classes and we still have one class to do, which is the user's class. So, uh, in the server explorer, we can see that there is the user's table that we didn't do here. And um, the test project uh, and the development steps, we can find that we should work on the users class so we're going to add this one here to do that right click on the lib.db select uh, add and we're going to select a class here okay and uh, we're going to select the VB class as you can see and we are going to add the following users class and enter and this class is used to manage users. Now we need to do two things. The first one is to define the uh, members and then define the main functions. So we have public user ID as long equals minus one and public username username as string equals nothing. Uh, next we have uh, public user password as string. Uh, for now the password is not encrypted later on we should do that okay and we have public user status as string equals nothing now we create the insert method so we have public uh, function insert into database db as database manager class followed by um, by ref or msg as string and commit as boolean and this should return a boolean try catch and if we have any error we say db.rollback error message equals ex.message and we need to log the errors so I'm gonna copy the code actually from here to make things a little bit faster and make sure that I am using the same path for the log. <clears throat> now, um, used um, to insert a new user record into the database. Okay, so all we have to do is run the simple SQL statement, which is execute SQL. Um, insert into users and I should specify user ID, user name and user password and user status okay values and how many variables do we have one two three four so at zero at one uh, at two and at three so we have these variables and we should specify user ID, user name and we have password and uh, status okay and before we do that we should specify the user ID equals pb get next ID so we create the key or the ID of the user and then we perform the insert and check if commit then db.commit and we should return true okay we finished the insertion part we need to make the loading part so again public function load from database it's very similar to other functions so um, don't think we need lots, lots of explanation so we have this database manager class and we have the uh, username uh, I won't load by ID but rather I will load using the username okay uh, that's because usually when you, you are trying to log into the system you will use the username here so we have error msg uh, string and this should return a boolean value and we put a try catch and this one here <coughs> sorry so now uh, first we need to get the, the raw from the database so this is going to be db.full data table select star from users where uh, username equals at zero and I need to specify V username okay notice that V at the beginning so that we distinguish this one from the 
member actually I could use a username here but um, to be difficult to distinguish between the two for the reader not the compiler compiler knows before anyway so if dt.rows.count equals zero then we didn't find uh, this one um, so we dispose the object and we say rollback and error message equals uh, user uh, or invalid invalid username okay and we should return false okay uh, or if you would like you can you could just say through new exception and you, you say invalid username uh, and basically the through new exception will uh, transfer the uh, program uh, execution to this part where you, where you will roll back get their message and log this one but uh, an invalid username should not be logged this is why we are doing this one here come on undo 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 okay um, otherwise we need to say user ID equals DT dot rows of zero item of user ID and we have username equals dt dot rows of zero dot item oops dot item of username and we have what uh, user password equals dt dot rows of zero dot item of user password okay and finally we say user status equals dt dot rows of zero dot item of user status okay and we finish that so we dispose um, the data table and return true put a note here loads uh, user by its name okay very straightforward uh, this should be it so let's save that here and let's assume that this is all we need now we want to create a function that allows the uh, uh, allows your user to log in. Now uh, this is going to be a shared function. So shared, we could make it a member function, but whatever. Um, so here, public shared, uh, you perform per perform user login. Okay. And here we have db as database manager class followed by p username as string followed by v password as string followed by error msg as string and this one is gonna return not boolean value but rather a user's uh, a user's class object. Oops function okay enter a try okay so uh, for this function we'll uh, check a null value not a true false value so here if there's any error we are gonna say return nothing okay so used to perform login and this one returns user object if login is successful okay um, now what should we do here first we need to get the object so um, if uh, not uh, basically dimension team p as new users class so we create a new user class and then if not tmp dot load from database and this one load user by its name so we specify the db object first and then we have the v username and then we specify the error message then so i'm saying here if not if uh, the loading failed in that case, uh, we say error message equals, uh, uh, sorry, the error message uh, should be returned here, here already. And all we need to do, we just return, we return nothing. Login is not successful. Uh, okay, now at this point here, the user 
name exists so we loaded that we just need to check the password now ftmp uh, dot uh, user password okay um, doesn't equal v pass then now in that case uh, actually I could create a single statement to check uh, the username and password in the database but I wanted to make it you know a, a function that calls a function no problem there anyway so uh, if there is a password uh, doesn't equal password so there is an invalid password now so we are gonna say the following we are gonna roll back database object and say your message equals uh, invalid password okay <clears throat> and then we return nothing okay very straightforward now the username and password at this point of the program which is this point this means that username and password are accurate everything's fine so we just return tmp and that's it okay so now we have a function that performs the login operation now in order to test that we are going to right click and show table data let me show you this we have admin with the password one two three and in order to test that we'll go here and copy this button and paste it now test admin login okay so I'll copy this one Control C Control V now we are going to do this very simple thing here and dimension uh, user equals users class oh sorry lib dot dv dot users class dot perform user login notice that I didn't use new keyword I just called the shared function okay well, which is part of the users class and this one is going to create the object for me and I need to supply the uh, database object so it's db obj followed by the username which is admin and the password should be one two three and we need to specify the error message okay now if user is not uh, sorry is nothing then that is uh, an error so I will just through new exception error message so uh, I'll transfer control to here right away otherwise okay and this will display our message else and this G box um, I will just show user dot username and view new line and user dot uh, status okay so uh, let us test that and see if it works and I click here and it worked so we have an admin with status enabled now let us trace this and see how it works so this is the important step Okay, let's click here now now we're gonna call this one we didn't create any object so far we are calling the perform user login in the users class and we are passing these parameters so f11 uh, in order to get in here so inside this function we will create a new users object and then we will call the load function here so let's go here f11 now we are performing the query in order to fill the record uh, with the username admin and the number of rows is one not zero so the, uh, there is no invalid usernames here okay now we are following the user id we are following the username we're gonna fill the password we're gonna fill the status and we'll dispose the table and return it through because everything went well okay and by the way since we are debugging let me show you this uh, there should be something called where is the that stack 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 called stack let me show you this so we were in the test project we went to the user class perform user login here and from that we called the um, users class dot load from database okay so now we will return to this step back okay so we run this one now we went back to this step okay so we finished the first step here the loading process and now we're going to check the password 
so this is the password and it, it matches so now we will return we will return from this one into the main program or the tester program so we we'll return and there we go we are here now in the tester program and it works so the user now is not nothing so it is working fine and this is why we are getting this message okay so now I'm gonna trigger an error uh, by supplying the wrong password okay now this is the wrong password and I will run this again okay and I will click here so check this tag here now this tag uh, is pointing that I am running this code at button 70 click this is the name of the function it is button 70 click and now we will go and call this one f11 so now we jumped into perform user login this is perform user login okay and we get into this one uh, from button 70 click okay so we will load this one uh, let me return the code I just moved this quickly so F11 and now uh, we went to the load okay so we want to load from perform user login and so on by the way if you want to see let's say I went in, in the code here and you want to see the calling function you could just go this one this is the calling function and you just double click that it will move you back to where the call was made it's here and if you double click on your tester project double click here it will show you where the call is right now it's it's here okay so this is where we did the first call and the code went to this line and now it is actually in this line as you can see so you could see where your program is using the call stack it's very useful and to help you, uh, you expl uh, understand what's happening so let's continue our code here we reloaded the values and now we will match the password. So now one two three against three 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 two three. So this is an error, obviously. We roll back the changes. We say this is an invalid password and return nothing. And we go back. And the user now is nothing. So it's gonna throw an exception. So the exception is invalid password. Uh, the exception will trigger an error, and the program will catch it in here. It's like. Uh, Something similar to go to, but only works with try catch. But you shouldn't use it uh, a lot. Uh, since this is a, not a commercial application, we could use it. We are learning here. So we run this one and we get into the exception. Okay, this exception object now have the message we supplied, which is invalid password, as you can see. So we now will display fail invalid password. Okay. So everything's working fine, there is no problem, and uh, let me return the test to the way it was. Uh, let me stop the code, and run it again. And it is working just fine. Okay, so that's it. Uh, we finished this step. Okay, so, um, well, we finished all the classes needed for the project. Uh, we are supposed to work on the graphical user interface so I will leave this for tomorrow so that we could just focus on this one we finish all the classes we uh, so that we don't have uh, classes and the graphical user interface the rest will be very easy uh, because we finished most of the work here we might need to visit these classes later on but um, by and large we will just work on the uh, user interface now okay so um, that's it uh, for today um, if you want to see the source code you could uh, go to the website and download that uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a wonderful day